Okay, now we're going to talk to you about how you can use Windows Movie Maker to convert a PowerPoint to a movie and then add your audio, whether it be students' narration or your own narration. Okay, so what we first need to do is find a PowerPoint. So let's start with here we have a PowerPoint. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to this section here, File, and then go to Save As. And then we need to change it. The, the default will be PowerPoint presentation. Now, we need to change this to a picture type system, which would be here, would be either a GIF graphics interchange format or a JPEG. Either one will do. Uh, I think if you're going to use it for the internet the, the GIF would be best. If you want higher quality you could choose JPEG. So we're going to choose GIF and so then we just go save. Now with, at the moment this has got saving into a folder you can choose to put it in your documents somewhere or you can put it on Google Drive but um, I'm just going to put it into my pictures. We'll put it there. So, so you go save. You can either save every slide or just one slide. I'm going to save all of the slides. So, and this will take a few minutes, maybe, or maybe it'll take 30 seconds. It just depends on how fast your computer is. So, we're just waiting. And okay, so that's done. And then we have done that now what we need to do is start Movie Maker. So we go to our programs, open Windows Movie Maker and then we need to add these collections. So I can get a new collection new collection and we can call this test Okay, so we can go back to our tasks. Now we need to import pictures. Now, so we need to go then and look where we put that information. I think we put it in my pictures. And if we have a look down here, there is the file there. It's make your heart ready. And then we just select the slides that we need. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to select six now, import them. And so they're there. And so now we can start to make our movie put one, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives us six slides and they can you can adjust how long you want to view them. So at the moment I've just extended that. You can have a look here, there's your timeline and you can you can extend this for as long or as little as you like depending on your narration so now you need to add some audio so click on import audio over here under capture video and I'm going to just use Beethoven so there's my audio file I drag that into audio or audio or music so you got audio music or audio so you can actually combine the two together now the other things that you can do, you can add some effects, you can add transitions This, so it will transition from one slide to the next you just drag that and stick it in the middle That's, you can see that there quite easy to do, no problem and if you want to see how that's all happening you just make this screen a little bit bigger by dragging your mouse across and and then you can see and you can see the time up here and so that's all quite simple so yes you can do that and so you, you have the option to add different medias you can add other video clips you can add different soundtracks and then you can combine them all together you can even put in a title like you put in a title of the movie so you've got make titles or credits so we just click on that one title at the beginning you can call it my first movie my 
first movie and there you go and it's playing there done and then if you want something at the end credits at the end the end uh, you can write various different things like audio was Mr. Heskirf Oops. So you could still editable here. Yeah. Um, video. Mister. Uh, so you can. This is great for students. You know, if you if you get the students to help you, you can put their name in there, and um, yeah, they'd love to see their name, and it gives them. Um, yeah, they feel like uh, they get a sense of achievement. So. Oh, that's good. So when that's all done, you just click done, and so that's, and then you can finish the movie. You just have to either save it to your computer, save it to a CD, send it via email, send it to the web. I like this idea because you can send it to the web, and let's see, next, choose cable mode on next. How long is that going to take? Well, this this is only a fairly short example here. Okay. Ah, oh, cannot save the movies. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. So we can't do that anyway. But so you can save it to a CD, and then you can just um, take the CD with you, or save it to your camera. Yes, I was f hoping that we could import it or export it. You can actually, once you've saved it to the computer, you can just upload it to YouTube. That's probably the better idea. So anyway, that's just a, a few little features of Windows Movie Maker you can have a look at and you can have a play around with. And if you need any further help, you can either ask myself or Mr. Ronald Chan or feel free to search YouTube because there's lots of tutorials there. Okay, thank you and goodbye.